it's really critical if you want to have ripped abs that first you incorporate a great core regimen into your workout cycle. Hey everybody, I'm John Chumate and you're at liveanabolic.com. So today we're going to talk about getting ripped abs. Everybody wants them, but do you really know how much work is involved? We're going to talk about that a little bit in this episode. I'm 61 years old. I've been doing this in my entire life. So guys, there's an old adage in the industry that abs are made in the kitchen. Okay, that's partly true. And we're going to talk about that a little bit. But if you're going to have abs that you're going to show off, you're going to have to spend time in the gym and you're going to have to build those up. Then we'll talk about how we shred that body fat off so you can show it off. Now, this is really important. When we're looking at making our abs show and developing them, we have to be balanced. We have to be balanced in our entire core. So the six pack is within what we call the main rectus abdominis. And that's the muscle that we really wanna target and develop. And we're gonna talk about how we do that. But at the same time, we wanna make sure that we're balanced by the same level of strength in our lower back and that we're balanced by the same level of strength in our obliques. This is really critical to overall functionality, overall strength. If you really wanna be strong, it starts in the core. So guys, the first exercise I wanna show you is just what I call a seated leg lift crunch. This is really great because it hits the main rectus abdominis. It gets us a full contraction. At the same time, it works the hip flexors too. And it's important to know that your core muscles also work in conjunction with your hip muscles. They all cross over each other and it's all part of a big compound process overall. So when we do crunches, this is the one exercise where it's okay to put a curve into your back. We have to do that because we're contracting these muscles and pulling forward. So we do want that nice C shape in your back. So with this exercise, we can start with no weight on our feet. And it's really simple. If we want to do it in the most basic way, you get on the bench and put your hands behind you. And you're simply going to pull your knees up and put them back down on the floor and pull them up all the way. When you're pulling them up, you're going to get that C shape in your back and you're gonna cr literally crunch forward as far as you can and fully contract those abdom abdominal muscles and back out and back up. Now, if you want to advance a little bit, you can take a small dumbbell, put it in your, between your feet, lean back and come up and back down and up and back down. If you want to go even more advanced, you can take your hands and put them on the sides of your head and come up and go down like that. Now this is important, whenever we do crunches, I don't want you to lock your fingers and put them behind your head. It's hard on your neck and you tend to pull your head up as opposed to making your abdominal muscles do the work. If you need something to do with your hands, just put them up on your temples like this and that works really good that way. So guys, we talked about working the main rectus abdominis. Now we're gonna talk about the backside, the lower lumbar muscles. When we have these two muscles strong, then we have a system that keeps us in balance, and that's really critical. Now, this is a little bit more of an advanced exercise for those of you, those of you who are trying to get ripped abs. If you haven't done this before, you may wanna start with what's called a Superman and start more slowly before you go into this. All right, now we're gonna show you how it's done. Okay, so for this, we wanna use a bench. You wanna just get extended out on the bench so you've got a pivot point right at your hips here. I like to hook my feet underneath the bench on the back so that I am held stable. And then it's really simple. Start with your back straight, your head down. You wanna keep your neck static and straight the whole time through the exercise. Get your hands up here on the sides of your head and just go all the way down and come all the way up. Hold for a count all the way down, all the way up, hold for a count, all the way down, all the way up, and hold for a count. It's really that simple. Great guys, so we worked the front, we worked the back, now we're gonna work the side, we're gonna work the obliques. Not only are the obliques important for balance overall, but when we do that cut, and you show your abs, you also wanna have some nice defined obliques as well too, to go along with that. 
So for this exercise, you simply take a dumbbell. I'm using 30 pounds. You can use more or less depending on what's right for you. Again, with all these exercises, we wanna look at doing 12 reps, three sets of those. So start with good posture, right? We stand up straight, we have our best posture. We even do a core squeeze. I like to put my fingertips on my temple and simply go to the side all the way, pivoting at the hips, and it's a crunch, just like we crunched our abdominals. Now we're crunching all the way down on our side as far as we could go and crunch it, and then come back up, and then go over all the way and stretch that out, and then come back down and crunch it again, and then open, and then come back down and crunch it again hard. Again, use the weight that's right for you, do 12 reps, do three sets, do both sides. Great, so we're gonna come back to the main rectus abdominis again and show you one other way that we can work that. Now guys, there's a lot of different ways you can work all of these muscles. The important thing that we're just trying to get across is that you do it in a balanced way. There's multiple exercises for your rectus abdom abdominis. There are other exercises for your lower lumbar, but the one we show you is a really good one as well as for your obliques. So you can build an entire program for your core to build up that strength overall. So this is another crunch move. I'm doing this on a bench, but you can also do this on the floor or uh, there's other means as well. The important thing simply is that you're curling your back up, you're fully contracting your abdominals, your rectus abdominis, and going into a crunch. That is contracting them as far as they will go. So I look to put my fingertips right here on my temples and I come down and then I come up and notice how the back curls and how the abdominus contracts just like any other muscle. I squeeze it and contract just as far as it will go and then release and come back out and come up, come down, squeeze hard, back up. If you want to, you can throw some variation. When you come up, you can take your left elbow and go to your right knee and crunch that way and also pull in the oblique. Same thing, come up and change over to the other side and squeeze. Now, if you want to advance on this a little bit, you can also take a dumbbell and add some extra weight or resistance. You can either hold the dumbbell right here on your chest and come up and crunch. And it's also possible too, you can take the dumbbell when you're going down and coming back up you actually push the dumbbell up in a press like this and come up and crunch the muscles that way. You'll feel a lot of extra pressure and stress on the abdominal muscles overall. So guys, these are just a few examples of some exercises that you can do that hit our main areas in the core. That being the abdominal, the lower lumbar, and the obliques. It's really critical if you want to have ripped abs that first you incorporate a great core regimen into your workout cycle. I would recommend if you're serious about this goal, you have a core period that you do in your exercises three times a week and you put in at least six different exercises. Go build yourself a program, go work hard, keep advancing, keep challenging yourself to get better, build up those core muscles. Then when you're ready to shed that body fat, you're gonna have something impressive to show. All right, guys, so you've built up your core muscles. You have strong symmetry all the way around and you're balancing your strength and you've especially built your main rectus abdominis up. You'll be able to feel it now. You can squeeze your core muscles, you can run your fingers along there. If you've got body fat on there, you're gonna feel the muscles underneath. Now it's time to get shredded. If you're going to show off those abdominal muscles you built so hard and that worked so hard to get, you're gonna have to get down into probably the single digits of body fat, anywhere between six to 8%. In a previous video, we talked about how to get down to 8% body fat. Here's a quick recap on that. So first of all, you need to know where you're at right now. You need to know what your present body fat level is. So you can go to Walmart or sporting goods store, they'll have electronic body fat counters. If you wanna get a little bit more accurate, you can go to your gym, you can go to a physical therapist, they can use calipers, they'll give you a pretty good idea. The key here is that scientific proof and repeated studies show that the best way to go about this is to reduce your calories by 3,500 calories per week or 500 calories per day. 
That on average will give you a one pound of body fat loss every single week. And there's a lot of great calculators out there. If you use them, you can go plug your specifics in there and it will tell you how many weeks it's going to take you approximately to get to your goal. So the second part of this is knowing how many calories you're taking in right now so you know how many to cut out. To do that, you're gonna have to keep a journal. You need to create a log of everything that you eat every single day. And there are tables out on the internet, just look it up, caloric table. It'll tell you for every item how many calories are in them. Eight ounces of chicken, um, seven ounces of fish, four ounces of broccoli. You can add all this up and find out how many calories you're consuming. Now, all you have to do from that daily basal rate is to subtract 500 calories. My recommendation, take that equally across all your macro categories. Take that equally across your proteins, take that equally across your carbohydrates, and equally across your fats. A lot of schools have thought about that. Let's keep it simple though, that'll work for you. So the last thing I wanna share with you today about getting ripped ads and about burning body fat off is what we call HIT Cardio. That's an acronym, it stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And it's something that's really helpful when you're trying to shed that body fat and get down to single digits. So it's simply a matter of raising your heart rate and your cardiovascular system for a very short burst of time and then resting. So what I recommend for you to start with is just a 15 second exercise burst followed by 60 seconds rest and then repeat that 10 times. Multiple ways you can get your heart rate up. You can do jump rope, you can do jumping jacks, you can get on your treadmill, you can run in place, you can get on your exercise cycle. It really doesn't matter. What does matter maximum intensity for 15 seconds, 60 seconds rest, keep it on your watch or the clock on the wall. As soon as that 60 seconds is up, you hit it again. This gets your metabolism up. You will actually burn more calories at rest than doing slow cardio work. Something that's really critical in getting to your goal overall. So guys, just a real quick summary. This has been a basic overview of how you get those ripped abs. Number one, you gotta build up those core muscles. Number two, you gotta lose body fat. You're gonna do that by understanding where you're at and where you're gonna go to. You're gonna understand where your base or calorie level is, and you're gonna understand how you cut that by 500 calories per day. You're gonna do HIIT cardio. Build a program around this. Be disciplined. You will hit your goal. So guys, there you have it. A very quick overview about how to get ripped abs. If you like this video, make sure and click the thumbs up button to subscribe so you make sure you get all these great videos for men over 50 and 60 and how to get fit. So this is John Shoemate signing off. And remember, obstacles are what you see when you lose sight of your goal. Stay focused, friends. See you next time.